I want to show you an experiment I'm doing with a accordion well it's a piece of a, a Sabah accordion made in the 80s it's now in the key of F it used to be in the key of C which means it had C reeds in it it used to have Salpa reeds in the key of C now it has Benchy reeds in the key of F I had originally had um, Greg Mouton put these F reeds in and he did the adjustments now I gotta show you the adjustments that need to be done since these reeds are smaller because they're a higher key and F is higher than C or it's lower but in this case it's a higher octave um, the chambers need wood put into the tops of them in order to make them fit now he had used maybe some kind of really soft maple or balsa wood or something to fill in the tops and I decided to do an experiment where I'm using exotic wood to put to fill the gaps fill inside now on this whole row you'll see it looks like there's nothing there it's, but that's African black wood and that's one of the hardest woods on the planet one of the most dense woods and by luthiers it's considered our guitar makers stringed instrument makers it's considered the holy grail of tone woods now when accordion plays the reeds vibrate and the wood doesn't so it's not like the concept of a guitar where the strings make the wood vibrate in order to make the resonance and sound however what you make your reed blocks out of makes a difference in the sound with accordions and I've noticed that between different um, Savoy accordions he's currently using a very very light maple that has a very very bright clean sound brighter than anything he'd ever used this is from the 80s so it's maple and I'm not sure he put for the standing reeds some kind of hardwood it's a dark hardwood this maybe not maple it's, I think it's the same stuff the accordion was made of um, you can see on the standing it's a different it's not a, a, a white maple if it's maple it's a very very dark um, anyway back to what I was telling you I took out the squares of wood that Greg Mouton put in I tediously shaped these little rectangular pieces of wood black wood all on this bank and on these reeds I used African purple heart which is another hardwood and also very hard to work with here and here and in some cases I'd glued them in and sometimes they were a little too low so I took some pieces of maple and glued them over top to make a kind of roof so the reed wax that I put on doesn't drip beneath the reed I'm just trying to make sure that if I'm going to put the wood in, if it doesn't turn out exactly right, if the reed doesn't sit flat on it, I don't want any wax going down beneath the reed. And you see I did that, I put some maple here, maple here, and here. And these are all good, I did a pretty d decent job. This is good practice because I'm going to turn my B accordion to C, which it's since it's a, a small, it's a Technically, it's only a half step difference, and the B accordion turning to C will not be nearly as hard as what I did with this F accordion and what Mouton did, but I'm redoing. Here it's a mixture. Here's Purple Heart on these four. Here it'll be African Blackwood. I just decided on a whim to use that, and I'll tell you that, and I do it all by hand with a hand saw. That stuff is the hardest wood ever to saw. Anyway, um, when it's all finished, when it's all said and done, I'll make a video and play it for you and compare it to what it used to sound like because I have videos of this with the key change. It might not make a difference, it might make a difference. Basically what I've done is I put exotic wood at the tops of every one of these reeds and you know that the the tip of the reed vibrates the whole reed vibrates but I'm assuming the sound comes out the tip as it's vibrating on either side 
So it's going to vibrate straight into the black wood and the purple heart. And I'll keep you updated.